published, 1821 EDT, the 7th of April 2018, updated, 312 EDT. The 8th of April 2018 a fire broke out on the upper floors of Trump Tower in Manhattan, the home of President Trump. The blaze erupted on the 50th floor of the tower, with a 911 call being placed at 5.30 p.m. Thick black smoke billowed out from Trump Tower as burning debris fell onto 5th Avenue. Todd Brasner, 67, was in his apartment where the fire started. He died after being transported to Mount Sinai Roosevelt Hospital in critical condition, an NYPD source tells DailyMail.com. He was residing in apartment 50C. Brasner was a prominent art dealer, who was friends with Andy Warhol, and is mentioned multiple times in Warhol's autobiography. The deceased tenant of the posh Trump Tower pad filed for bankruptcy in 2015. In the bankruptcy filing it says, the apartment he lived is worth $2.50 million. The limited support of his family coupled with his medical problems caused the debtor to fall into arrears on his mortgage, credit card payments and line of credit payments, says the filing. The FDNY tells DailyMail.com six firefighters also sustained non-life-threatening injuries. During a press conference at the scene, FDNY Commissioner Daniel Nigro said the apartment was virtually, entirely on fire when firefighters arrived. At 6.42 p.m. local time the president took to Twitter to share, Fire at Trump Tower is out. Very confined, well-built building. Firemen, and women, did a great job. Thank you. When asked if the president's assessment of the building being well-built was accurate, Nigro said, it's a well-built building. The upper floors, the residence floors, are not sprinkler dots. Scroll for video the fire wrapped around the 50th floor and angled out through several windows in Trump Tower, the New York City home base of the president, in Midtown Manhattan Saturday. The massive blaze shot out several windows on the 50th floor with flames licking out into the sky of Trump Tower on Saturday. Todd Brasner, pictured right, left was the 67-year-old resident who died in the fire in his apartment. He was a prominent art dealer, and close friends with famed artist Andy Warhol. He had filed for bankruptcy in 2015 with his apartment listed at $2.5 million. A fire broke out at Trump Tower in Midtown Manhattan on the 50th floor on Saturday around 5.30 p.m. The FDNY says it was a fourth alarm with well over 200 firefighters responding. A firefighter is seen in the blown out window in the 50 story apartment where the blaze erupted Saturday at Trump Tower. President Donald Trump was in D.C. when the fire broke out at his New York home base. He headed out with First Lady Melania Saturday evening to the Trump International Hotel in Washington, D.C. for dinner. Following the fire the First Lady joined the President for the evening in D.C. after the fire broke out at their New York home base Saturday to spend time at the Trump International Hotel in Washington, D.C. Trump and Melania leave dinner at the at Trump International Hotel in Washington, D.C. on Saturday evening after the fire at Trump Tower in New York. Trump and the First Lady leave dinner at Trump International Hotel hotel in Washington, D.C. after Saturday evening's blaze at Trump Tower in New York City water is seen spurting out the window as firefighters battled the massive blaze at Trump Tower on the 50th floor on Saturday. The massive response by the FDNY and first responders saw the streets shut down around Trump Tower Saturday as they battled the inferno that started on the 50th floor. NYPD officers and first responders are seized the scene of a fire at Trump Tower on April 7, 2018 in New York City. FDNY Commissioner Daniel Nigra gave updates at the scene explaining the difficult blaze fire sprinklers were not required in New York City high-rises when Trump Tower was completed in 1983. Hours later the president made no mention of the deceased resident on his Twitter. Subsequent updates to the building code required commercial skyscrapers to install the sprinklers retroactively, but owners of older residential high-rises are not required to install sprinklers unless the building undergoes major renovations. Some fire safety advocates pushed for a requirement that older apartment buildings be retrofitted with sprinklers when New York City passed a law requiring them in new residential high-rises in 1999. But officials in the administration of then-Mayor Rudy Giuliani said that would be too expensive. 
They were knocking down the fire, they found one occupant, Nigro said. This was a very difficult fire. As you can imagine, the apartment is quite large, we are fifty stories up. The rest of the building had a considerable amount of smoke. Two hundred firefighters and DMS members are on scene. We found fire on the fiftieth floor of the building. The apartment was entirely on fire. Members pushed in heroically, they were knocking down the fire, Nigro added. The FDNY had to search several floors because of the smoke condition above the fifty floor. The fire was finally declared under control at around 7.45 p.m. Melania Trump and the couple's son, Baron Trump, are both in Washington, D.C., according to the First Lady's spokeswoman, Stephanie Grisham. Debris rained down onto the street during the fire at Trump Tower in New York on Saturday after a massive blaze broke out on the 50 floor that gutted out windows seen here where the fire started on Saturday. The FDNY said the apartment was completely engulfed in flames when they arrived thick black smoke filled the air above the blaze and settled onto 5th Avenue Saturday well over 200 firefighters were responding to the scene at the explosive fire inside the president's Manhattan residence in Midtown Manhattan Donald Trump, floors 66 through 68 The president occupies the penthouse sprawling over the top two floors of Trump Town in Midtown Manhattan in his namesake tower Guido Lombardi, floors 62 through 63 Real estate investor Guido Lombardi is a self-proclaimed Italian count, as well as a Trump supporter, and sympathizer Helene Armad, floor 51 Art dealer Hillel Armad, of the Armad collecting dynasty has been snatching up apartments on the 51st floor of Trump Tower since at least 1999, when he paid $2.5 million for Unit 51J. He would be the occupant just above the floor where the fire broke out and his sprawling pad was surely overcome with smoke during Saturday's fire Ernie Garcia. Floors 48 through 49 The chairman of used car dealer drive time currently takes up residence in the tower. His apartment could potentially have water damage considering the massive response and water used to put out the fire on the 50 floor Paul Manafort, floor 43 Trump's former campaign manager, who resigned in August, has lived in Trump Tower since 2006. Manafort transferred the apartment from an LLC to his name in 2015 Dennis Shields, floor 42 The Banker and sometime boyfriend of Real Housewives of New York star Bethany Frankel said he was alerted to evacuate Trump Tower. From his childhood friend the president's personal attorney Michael Cohen Jose Maria Marin, floor 41 for the people that did self-evacuate, Marin may not have been one of them as he is currently serving house arrest. Marin, a former administrator of the Brazilian Football Confederation who's serving a sentence in connection with bribery charges stemming from the FIFA crisis, to which he plead guilty Suzetta Mayan. Floor 32 Ivana Trump's pal Suzetta Mayan, of the Italian fashion, family, has been shacked up in a Trump Tower pad after allegedly looting her mother's bank accounts and possessions Juan Beckman Vidal. Floor 31 Vidal's name is not as well known as the liquor brand he controls, Jose Cuervo. The tequila bigwig owns three apartments in the building source, Curb New York The president is also in Washington D.C. The president and the first lady went to dinner at Trump International Hotel in Washington D.C. Saturday evening after the fire erupted at the home base in New York. At least, five fire trucks were seen responding to the fire on Fifth Avenue. Trump has an office and home in the building. The 664-foot Trump Tower has 58 stories, though the top floor is numbered 68. Nigro said Secret Service members checked on the condition of Trump's apartment. Eric Trump also took to Twitter, Thank you to the amazing men and women of the NYFT who extinguished a fire in a residential apartment at a Trump Tower. The at FDNY and at NYPD are truly some of the most incredible people anywhere. In addition to the president's penthouse, Trump Tower houses the headquarters of the Trump Organization as well as other residences, offices and stores. The headquarters of the Trump Organization is on the 26th floor. Nigro noted that no member of the Trump family was in the 664-foot tower Saturday. Trump's family has spent little time in New York since taking office.
While the building was not evacuated some people chose to self-evacuate. The streets around Trump Tower are closed on 5th Avenue between East 55th Street and East 57th Street, West 56th Street is closed from 5th Avenue to Madison Avenue. The FDNY called this a mass emergency response and sent dozens of fire trucks to the 58-story skyscraper. Lalita Masson, a 76-year-old 36th floor resident, told the New York Post the blaze was frightening. We're terrified. It was a very horrible experience. There was no evacuation system in place. We were at a loss of what to do. I almost fainted. I thought we would die she said. This looks similar to when 9-11 took place, my husband is disabled and we were helpless. All we could do is put wet towels under the door and pray. Incredibly Masson says she learned about the fire on the television from inside her 36th floor apartment. When I saw the television, I thought we were finished, Masson told the New York Times. Her husband, Narinda, who is 79 has Parkinson's disease. I started praying that this was our end, I called my oldest son and said goodbye to him because the way it looked everything was falling out of the window, and it reminded me of 9-11. She said she never received an announcement to leave, and added that when she called the front desk no one answered. One person was given a heads up to get out of the building however, and the alert did not come from building management. Dennis Shields, who dates Real Housewives of New York star Bethany Frankel, said he was alerted to leave the building by Donald Trump's personal attorney Michael Cohen. Shields, who said he grew up with Cohen said, he said, are you in the building? I said, yes. He said, you better get out ASAP. That's how I knew to get out. Otherwise I'd still be in there. You could smell the smoke and you could hear things falling like through the vents, he said. It just smelled like sulfur. Shields added there were no official orders to evacuate. Meanwhile, an employee from the Gucci store all the way below on the ground floor said he could smell smoke. We smelled smoke coming through the vents. Our clients and personnel were evacuated, he said. We were assured they had it under control and it was precautionary. Definitely a noticeable smell of smoke coming through the vents. The massive response at Trump Tower called for well over 200 firefighters battling the blaze that erupted at 6 p.m. Streets were closed in the area as the FDNY battled the enormous blaze that erupted in the New York City home base of the president around 6 p.m. People in the streets stopped to watch the flames. Exploding through the windows at Trump Tower on Saturday people on the streets of New York stopped to capture the incredible scene at the President's Manhattan residence circa 1980, people riding the escalators inside Trump Tower, New York City in the glittering interior of the President's New York City headquarters where a fatal fire broke out Saturday Trump Tower boasts high-end luxury. However residents complained they were not alerted to evacuate during Saturday's deadly blaze on the 50th floor the FDNY said the interior of apartment 50C was massive which made fighting the fire more difficult a lack of sprinklers on the floor where the fire erupted Saturday also contributed to the dangerous condition the luxury apartments at Trump Tower are home to some of New York City's wealthiest elite who say they were not giving an evacuation plan and could not reach the front desk when the fire erupted Saturday there was a minor fire just three months ago in a cooling tower on the roof of the Midtown skyscraper, in which two people suffered minor injuries. We had one minor injury to a firefighter, some debris fell on him, FDNY Chief Roger Sakowicz said at the time. We had one engineer that got up there with a fire extinguisher and breathed in some of the smoke but he's refused medical. The high-rise houses both residences and businesses. Todd Brasner was the 67-year-old dart dealer who died in Saturday's Trump Tower Inferno. He was close friends with Andy Warhol, and had fallen on hard times, filing for bankruptcy in 2015. Brasner was found unconscious Saturday inside his sprawling 50th floor apartment that FDNY Commissioner Dan Nigro described as completely engulfed in flames. Brasner was mentioned multiple times in Warhol's autobiography, according to the New York Daily News. Warhol said he and Brasner grabbed lunch together at a Warhol's factory on Broadway in December 1976.
Several months later, Brasner called Warhol to tell him that he just saw Muhammad Ali in the polo lounge, according to the Andy Warhol diaries. Todd Brasner, pictured, was the 67-year-old resident who died in the fire in his apartment at Trump Towers. He was a prominent art dealer, and close friends with Andy Warhol. Brasner and Andy Warhol were close friends, and the art dealer had sold a self-portrait of the artist. In 2007 Brasner and Warhol did several sales together of the artist's famed pop art including a 1967 self-portrait that went for $601,000 in 2007. Brasner owned a 1978 Marilyn Monroe print by Warhol that the artist inscribed to Todd. However, Brasner had filed for bankruptcy in 2015 after dealing with a series of issues that caused him to fall in arrears on his mortgage. The president tweeted a thank you to first responders on Saturday shortly after the fire started, praising the integrity of his building. Fire at Trump Tower is out, very confined, well-built building. Firemen, and women, did a great job. Thank you. Trump continued to tweet through the evening, but never referenced the fire, or the tenant of the Trump organization that had died in the blaze. The FDNY tells DailyMail.com six firefighters also sustained non-life-threatening injuries. During a press conference at the scene, FDNY Commissioner Daniel Nigro said the apartment was virtually, entirely on fire when firefighters arrived. When asked if the president's assessment of the building being well-built was accurate, Nigro said, It's a well-built building. The upper floors, the residence floors, are not sprinkled. Fire sprinklers were not required in New York City high rises when Trump Tower was completed in 1983. Subsequent updates to the building code required commercial skyscrapers to install the sprinklers retroactively, but owners of older residential high rises are not required to install sprinklers unless the building undergoes major renovations. Brasner had filed for bankruptcy in 2015 with his apartment listed at $2.5 million and was unable to keep up with his mortgage, despite a lucrative career as an art dealer and working closely. With Andy Warhol the fire wrapped around the 50th floor and angled out through several windows in Trump Tower, the New York City home base of the president, in Midtown Manhattan Saturday a firefighter is seen in the blown-out window in Brasner's apartment, 50C where the blaze erupted Saturday at Trump Tower the view from Brasner's window as posted by the art dealer to his Facebook page in 2016 they were knocking down the fire, they found one occupant, Nigro said. This was a very difficult fire. As you can imagine, the apartment is quite large, we are 50 stories up. The rest of the building had a considerable amount of smoke. 200 firefighters and DMS members are on scene. We found fire on the 50th floor of the building. The apartment was entirely on fire. Members pushed in heroically, they were knocking down the fire, Nigro added. The FDNY had to search several floors because of the smoke condition above the 50th floor. The fire was finally declared under control at around 7.45 p.m. Some residents of Trump Tower only learned about the blazing inferno just floors away on television. Meanwhile resident Dennis Shields got a phone call from the president's lawyer to get out ASAP. Shields, who lives on the 42nd floor, and is Real Housewives of New York star Bethany Frankel's on-again off-again boyfriend, said he was alerted to leave the building by Donald Trump's personal attorney, Michael Cohen. Shields, who said he grew up with Cohen, said the lawyer at the heart of the Stormy Daniels saga called him personally. He said, Are you in the building? I said, Yes. He said, You. Better get out ASAP. That's how I knew to get out. Otherwise I'd still be in there. You could smell the smoke and you could hear things falling like through the vents he said. It just smelled like sulfur, Shields continued to the New York Times. Bethany Frankel's sometimes boyfriend, Dennis Shields, pictured together, 
said he received a call from President Trump's personal attorney to evacuate the building ASAP Shields said he and Trump's attorney Michael Cohen, pictured, are childhood friends and that he was told to get out of the building by Cohen when the fire erupted in Trump Tower Saturday the FDNY received the call about. The fire around 5.30 p.m. on Saturday on the 50th floor of Trump Tower where residents complained they were not given evacuation instructions Shields added there were no official orders to evacuate. While the building was not evacuated some people chose to self-evacuate, however not everyone was able to do so. Lolita Masson, a 76-year-old 36th floor resident, told the New York Post she learned about the fire on the television from inside her 36th floor apartment. We're terrified. It was a very horrible experience. There was no evacuation system in place. We were at a loss of what to do. I almost fainted. I thought we would die, she said. This looks similar to when 9 11 took place. My husband is disabled and we were helpless. All we could do is put wet towels under the door and pray. Her husband, Narinda, who is 79, has Parkinson's disease. When I saw the television, I thought we were finished, said Masson added to the New York Times. I started praying that this was our end. I called my oldest son and said goodbye to him because the way it looked everything was falling out of the window, and it reminded me of 9-11. The massive blaze shot out several windows on the 50 floor with flames licking out into the sky of Trump Tower on Saturday Bethany's boyfriend had his own in who alerted him to evacuate Trump Tower on Saturday when the president's personal attorney called to tell him to evacuate she said she never got an announcement to leave, and that when she called the front desk no one answered. Meanwhile an employee from the Gucci store all the way below on the ground floor said he could smell smoke. We smelled smoke coming through the vents. Our clients and personnel were evacuated, he said. We were assured they had it under control and it was precautionary. Definitely a noticeable smell, of smoke, coming through the vents. The blaze broke out on the 50th floor of the tower around 5.30 p.m. Thick black smoke billowed out from Trump Tower as burning debris fell onto Fifth Avenue. Todd Brasner, 67, was in his apartment where the fire started. He died after being transported to Mount Sinai Roosevelt Hospital in critical condition, an NYPD source told DailyMail.com. He was residing in apartment 50C. Six firefighters also sustained non-life-threatening injuries. During a press conference at the scene, FDNY Commissioner Daniel Nigro said the apartment was virtually, entirely on fire when firefighters arrived. They were knocking down the fire, they found one occupant. Nigro said this was a very difficult fire. As you can imagine, the apartment is quite large. We are 50 stories up. The rest of the building had a considerable amount of smoke. 200 firefighters and DMS members are on scene. We found fire on the 50th floor of the building. The apartment was entirely on fire. Members pushed in heroically, they were knocking down the fire, Nigro added. The FDNY had to search several floors because of the smoke condition above the 50 floor. The fire was finally declared under control at around 7.45 p.m.